This Farm News video is brought to you by Crystal Flash. Staring down a tight labor market and longing for more family time, K&K Dairy Farms made a big change at the beginning of the year. The Westphalia, Michigan Dairy, run by fourth-generation farmers Matthew and Christy Kylan, transitioned from a milking parlor to a robotic milking system using Lely astronaut robots and a Juno feed pusher, in addition to downsizing from 450 cows to 250. We had 15 to 16 employees um, on staff at any given time before this, and we were probably short three to four people at any given time um, as we were going into this. So my husband and I were filling all the shifts in as we could. We didn't see each other a lot. We didn't see our kids a lot. There were no family dinners, anything like that. So that's really what played a big factor into this is the fact that we liked cows, we liked milking cows, but we also wanted to have family time. We have, you know, three kids under six, so that played a big role into it. Going to these robots, you know, getting rid of labor, we are down to four employees on payroll right now, and that is it. And we can do all of it ourselves, get it all done if we need to as well. So that has really changed how we uh, can operate as a family. Every night we have family dinners now, uh, we can go to the soccer games. It's just been really healthy for our family life. The idea behind these Lely robots, um, with the cow being independent, is that she goes through on her own choice. What we did is we, we did spend a couple weeks uh, back in January when we first started kind of training them to the robot. Um, we'd run them through the robot and feed them a little bit so they kind of liked the robot. Um, and then we just added a little bit more and more. We added the brushing and we added the milking and things like that. So they weren't so scared of it. And once they got used to it, they learned that they get a little bit of a treat in the robot. So they like to go for that. And then they also learned that's where they get milked as well. So it feels good for them to go and get milked. So that was kind of the step-to-step -step basis is start with the training period. And then now they just go on their own. We don't really come out here much other than to feed them, uh, you know, check a few cows here and there. But aside from that, they do it all on their own. So a lot of it was a learning curve on our part, on the manager's part. Um, a little bit of it, a uh, learning curve for the cows as well. The later lactation cows were not over milking um, now. They just go maybe a couple times a day when they need to. The younger, you know, early lactation cows that are really full, they can go, you know, some of them go up to five times a day. I think it is really going to benefit once we get down the road to see some of these cows adapt to what fits their needs the best. Um, I think it will increase production because they kind of, you know, dictate when they want to go and when they want to get emptied. And so I think it is really exciting to see some of that stuff that, you know, we're not as scheduled as we used to be, but I think that's a good thing for the cow. The collars here um, that you see on all the cows, um, those have all the cows' information on it. Um, it's like an RFID technology and it sends all their information back to our phones, back to the computer system. It also lets the robot know when she's allowed to milk, when, you know, how much she can eat, all that sort of good stuff. We're very much happy with it now. Um, I will say there were some months there that were a little bit tough on us and the cows, um, but we're very much happy with the decision now uh, going to these robots. 